Hello, my name is Brandon Wu. I am a security solutions architect with AWS. In this video, I will show you how to preview Access Analyzer findings before deploying resource permissions, so you can validate that your policy changes grant only intended public and cross-account access to your resource. This helps you start with intended external access to your resources. I will demonstrate three use cases for Access Analyzer that you can use to preview and validate that access. First, you can preview access for your Amazon S3 buckets when creating new S3 bucket policies in the Amazon S3 console. Then you can review existing bucket policies to remove external access also in the S3 console. And finally, I'll demonstrate how you can programmatically preview and validate public and cross-account access to your resources using the IAM Access Analyzer Preview Access APIs. This includes resources such as Amazon S3 buckets, AWS KMS keys, IAM roles, Amazon SQS queues, and Secrets Manager secrets, but providing proposed permissions for your resource. But first, let's start with an overview of Access Analyzer capabilities. You can quickly identify external entities with the access to your resources using IAM Access Analyzer. An external entity could be another AWS account, a root user, an IAM user or role, a federated user, an AWS service, IP addresses, or VPCs. This lets you identify potential unintended access to your resources and data so you can reduce access. Access Analyzer identifies resources that are shared with external principles using logic-based reasoning to analyze the resource-based policies in your AWS environment. For each instance of a resource that is shared outside of your account, Access Analyzer generates a finding, which includes information about the access and the external principle that it is granted to. You can review findings to determine whether the access is intended. If the access is not intended, you can use the information in the finding to reduce that access. In addition to helping you identify resources that are shared with an external entity, you can use Access Analyzer to preview how your policy affects public and cross-account access to your resources before deploying those resource permissions. Let's dive in and see how this works for authoring new policies in the S3 console. To begin, in the Identity and Access Management console, I'll create an analyzer in IAM Access Analyzer. I'll make sure to choose the current account as the zone of trust. When you're authoring, updating, or previewing your policies, you will use this analyzer to identify the external entities with access to your resource. Great, the analyzer creation is complete, so we can use it to preview access. Let's preview access for a new S3 bucket. I'll navigate to the S3 console and create a new bucket. We'll choose a bucket name. You can block all public and cross-account access to your S3 buckets using the Amazon S3 block public access setting. It's a best practice to enable this setting unless you have a valid use case to share data publicly or with other AWS accounts. For this bucket, let's say I choose to disable the block public access setting. Now, I want to edit the bucket policy. We'll go to permissions and edit the policy here. In this example, let's pretend I accidentally grant public access to this bucket. Now, we can scroll down and choose Preview Access. As you can see, Access Analyzer Access Preview is generating a finding that this bucket is allowing access to all principles meaning that the bucket is publicly accessible. Let's save changes for this example. We can correct this issue by turning off public access for the bucket. We can set this at the bucket settings here to prevent all public access for this bucket. Access Analyzer will take into consideration the block public access setting as well as the bucket policy applied to the actual bucket. 
Now, if we edit the policy again and rerun the access preview, we will see that the findings that were previously identified are no longer applicable. Let's take another example of an existing S3 bucket now. This bucket was created with the intention of being used for a temporary project with a third party. Now, if we look at the bucket policy, we can see that this policy grants access to a third party account. When we run preview access, Access Analyzer generates a finding that external access is allowed. Since the project is now over, let's correct the issue by replacing the cross account access with this current account instead. To do that, we will update the existing bucket policy with a new one that removes the third party account from the policy and replaces it with the current account. Now we will rerun the access preview. You can see that the finding has been resolved and no cross account access is provided for this bucket. We have the ability to get the same level of visibility for other resource types supported by Access Analyzer, such as KMS keys and IAM roles by using the Access Analyzer Preview Access API. Let's see how this works for a KMS key as an example. To call the API, I will use AWS Cloud Shell, a browser-based shell that makes it easy to securely manage, explore, and interact with your AWS resources. Cloud Shell is pre-authenticated with your console credentials. Now, in this example, we have a KMS key that was created, and we want to share this key with an external party to collaborate on a project. Let's take a look at the current key policy that's been applied. We'll use the Get Key Policy API to view the current KMS key policy. As you can see, this policy allows access for our internal account administrators to use and manage the key. But we want to share this key with our third-party project team. Now, we have created a policy that we think we need, but let's validate that using the Access Analyzer Create Access Preview API with the draft policy that grants the third-party access. First, we'll use the Create Access Preview API to generate the CLI skeleton to complete. This creates an input JSON that you can populate to make the following request. I have pre-filled the information with the Access Analyzer ARN, as well as the updated key policy granting the third-party account access. With the pre-filled JSON input, we'll call the Create Access Preview API again to create an Access Preview request. This will return the preview ID we'll use to list the findings. But first, we will use the Get Access Preview API to check the status of the Access Preview using that ID. Now that it's completed, we can see the findings that are generated using the List Access Preview API. This helps us validate that the key is only usable by the intended third parties so that we can deploy the resource policy changes with confidence. You've just seen how to validate that your policy changes grant only intended public or external access to your resource before deploying the resource permissions. This helps you manage access to your resources on your least privileged journey and mitigate the risk of granting unintended external access. Thank you for watching and happy building.